Loganeers, today we're going to unbox Green Kids Crafts. This is a monthly subscription that features eco-friendly, sustainable crafts for kids. You can order this at the link in the description. Okay, so there is a Green Kid booklet. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so in this box there are four projects. The first is the Geo Kit. The second is a Crystal Growing Kit. The third is a Erupting Volcano. And finally, Volcanic Eruption Art. Next is an introduction to volcanoes, crystals, and gems, which is probably the theme of this box. And after that, there's a page on each of the projects. Uh, they tell you what is included in the box, what you'll need from home, and the instructions. Okay, so the first activity is hidden pictures. There's also a maze. And, oh, and then finally there's bonus do-it-yourself projects, such as a globe orange and Oreo tectonics. And now let's see what's in here. Wait, what does it say? This sticker says reusable. Oh yeah. Oh. So the bag says that it's reusable and recyclable. This bag is made from 100% recycled material, which is cool. And again, this is Green Kids Crafts, so everything is made of green products. Okay, this bag uh, has a sticker that says Erupting Volcano. And inside it looks like, oh, there's model magic, um, a little plastic tin. So it's probably full of volcanoes. Some rock things and baking soda. Okay. And then this bag says geodes. So as you can see, there are two mini geodes here. There's also s some other things in this bag, such as pipe cleaners a marble and borax okay and then finally there are two pieces of construction paper so that is green kids crafts and now we're going to do the four projects project one is cracking open gear okay so what's included in the box for this project are geodes and what we need from home is a small hammer Obviously, this is not a small one, but it will do. Uh, an old sock. And we're going to head outside to crack open the geo. So now we're outside. We have our instruction book here. Uh, there's three steps for cracking open the geo. Uh, step one, put a geo in a sock. This sock will that... help prevent rock fragments from flying around. Okay, a sock that doesn't fit me. Step two, put the geode on a hard concrete surface. Hit the geode-filled sock gently with the hammer until it slits open. If you hit too hard, you may end up with lots of little pieces. So they said start with gentle hits. Right, Gio. It has a crystal. Now, me The next activity is the crystal growing kit. So, what we get is pipe cleaner, yarn, borax powder, and a round stick. Yeah. And what's needed from home is a glass jar, one cup of water, a spoon pan, stove, and food coloring. And that's optional. Step one, make a shape out of your pipe cleaner. You can twist it and or cut it with scissors to make a star, loose coil, or even the first letter of your name. We finished our star. It took a while to make with the pipe cleaner. Here's the yarn that's tied to the round stick. And now step three is to boil one cup of water and then to add 
the borax powder and stir until dissolved. I'm going to stir with a stick to mix it all in. All right, now suspend your pipe cleaner in the jar by resting the stick on the mouth of the jar. Stick and goes in. Now we have to wait for up to 24 hours for it to fully grow. We'll check back tomorrow to see a fully grown crystal. Hi, it's us 24 hours from now, and we are going to check on our crystal growing kit. Oh no, uh -oh. it got stuck. Uh-oh, oh, here we go. Whoa, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, it's stuck. We can't pull it out because it's stuck to borax. Like crystal -y borax. It does look cool though. It looks like a sea star. Like a crystallized Is sea star. Is this supposed to happen? So I think what happened was that the star was touching the bottom and it wasn't supposed to because something like this would happen. Whoa. Wait, let me see. Actually, in a way, this does look cool, but like it's attached to the sea floor. So Big. how are we gonna get this thing out? Uh, well, it? yeah, we're just gonna have to yank it out. Okay, anyways, back to us from yesterday. It's time for project three, erupting volcano. What's included in the box is clay, baking soda, it's in, it's this. lava rocks, lava rocks, a lot of carry, bottle, and a food coloring tablet. Okay, and what we need from home is one cup of vinegar, a baking dish, which is basically this, and it will be used to contain the eruption. Step one, decide what type of volcano to create. There are three major types of volcanoes, composite, cinder, cone, and shield. So we're gonna do a cinder cone. Let's open this. I wanna make model this. magic. Here we go. Okay. So we're going to make a volcano. Oh, so first punch down the clay. And then now we're going to wrap and mold it over the bottle. We have finally made our volcano. It looks pretty good. Now we're going to decorate it with lava rocks. Okay, so we have baking soda here. We're gonna pour it through the vent and into the bottle inside our volcano. So here we have one cup of vinegar. I'm not smelling it because I hate the smell of vinegar. And with the vinegar, we're going to add the food coloring tablet. And okay. as you can see, there's a little eruption thing happening here like as the, the tablet tomato. dissolves. So now we're going to pour it into the volcano, which already has baking soda, a little at a time. Oh. Uh, but don't, don't, don't add it. They said slowly. Mm. You need to pour from that side if you want it to come down on this. Whoa. And pour the rest of the uh oh, it might overflow. Hi, it's us again, 25 hours in the future. We managed to chisel out the sea star from the base. Uh, so now it's a part and it looks like this. Anyway, sorry to bother you again. We're gonna have to send you back to 25 hours ago. <laughs> For our final project, everything we'll need is already included in the box. We have paint, a paintbrush, half of a black construction paper, and a marble. A marble, and the box. Okay, so step one is to take half of the construction paper and put it in the box. Number step two. number two, open one paint pot and pour half of the paint onto the black paper in the box. Now you need to wipe it. 
So look, this is what we have here. Hey, don't tilt it. Because it's fine. Easy. Okay, we have blue, yellow, orange. And brother's going to put the marble in the box. The marble is still clean, so say bye to the clean marble. And we're going to tilt the box in different directions so that the marble spreads paint around. Ooh, I can see the messiness starting. And now we're gonna show you what our progress is so far. This was created with blue, yellow, orange paint. We can already see some green because blue and yellow and yellow green. green. And finally, for the fourth step, no, we're actually, going to, so they warn you this is extra messy. So I'm gonna dip the paint brush into the red paint. Yeah, my favorite color. And then we're going to tap it against the side of the box so it drips onto the paper. So we have kind of made the area a bit messy from splattering paint, but they did warn us that it would be extra messy. Which method works better? I think that I like the non-paintbrush method better. This is our final piece of artwork. So after It could be better because there's still a clump of orange, blue, and yellow, but I see how this can look really cool when you just use marble to roll it around. So that is our unboxing of Green Kids Crafts. <laughs> you can still hear the marble rolling around. We yeah, it's still making art. Okay, anyways, uh, Brother, what was your favorite project? I think it's this one, the box one. Why? I just like rolling the marble around with the paint. Mine was maybe the erupting volcano because even though I've done baking soda and vinegar before, uh, you get to add food coloring and you get to make your own volcano uh, so that you can watch it erupt. And it looks more cool that way. Also, they provided volcanic rocks, which I thought was a very nice decoration. Overall, Green Kids Crafts is a very fun, educational, and eco-friendly box. And once again, you can purchase this at the link in the description. Bye-bye.